Barbara Epstein is Executive Director of Community Advocacy, which has been advancing social change in Israel for more than 15 years. Barbara is constantly fighting injustices and raising awareness of discrimination within Israeli society. She works to change the current trickle-down economic system, which favors the rich and instead promotes improving the standard of living of the poor. A newspaper called me up and wanted me to help them find people to interview the day that they published those horrible poverty statistics about how many people live under the poverty line, and he wanted me to help him find homes that he could open up and look at empty refrigerators. And I said, I don't do that. I help people live in dignity. I help people present their issues as not I'm, I'm living in a horrible situation, but this is why I live in this horrible situation, and this is what will help me make things better. And so we started talking to a group of women about what's poverty for you. And they said, poverty for us is not having enough food to put on the table. And we said, OK, well, let's look at food. We decided to develop a food co-op, and we have now three community food co-ops that basically we have enabled people to open up their own store that's based entirely on voluntary labor. They buy the food together from producers and from the middlemen, and they sell it back to themselves at the price that they buy it at, and they manage to save for themselves 20 and 40 percent on the cost of food. To date, over 2,100 families are members of the three co-ops in Jerusalem, Lod, and Beersheva, with hundreds of families joining every year, thus directly benefiting over 10,000 people. We are in our Lud Advocacy Center, which to me is an amazing place to visit. It's kind of an oasis of coexistence in the middle of a very troubled city. Community Advocacy is a social rights advocacy organization that aims to empower the disadvantaged to be able to access, understand, and expand their social rights and entitlement and raise their voice and become an important part of the public discussion. Barbara is the spirit of this, this place and most of the things that I'm doing today I learned from her. When we came to Lud, there, were no, there was no street lighting, there were no sidewalks, the playground in this community was an empty lot. The community center, which is across the street, was closed. That's not a normal community. And so one of the first things that we did in this community was help a group of Arab and Ethiopian residents together organize and say, this has to change. Barbara's policy successes include changing laws to improve the lives of those living in public housing, defeating the Wisconsin Plan, a punitive welfare-to-work program, helping the local community save the Deer Park, one of the last green spaces left in Jerusalem from development. Barbara's work as an activist in Jerusalem has made an impact throughout the entire city. Usually quiet and behind the scenes, Barbara's influence can be felt wherever there are those in need. Barbara chose to help those in need fulfill the rights that sometimes they're not even aware of and help people resolve problems they could not afford on their own. The Israel I see is an Israel that's equal, that's just, where people who work uh, can support their families and not just put food on the table, but also to be able to go on vacation with their families, uh, where there's not discrimination because of the color of your skin or because of your nationality, where people who aren't able to work get welfare benefits that enable them to live with dignity, and where the voice of everybody is heard, where people who are now marginalized, whether they're poor, whether they're Arab, whether they're Ethiopian, whether they're women, whoever they might be, that they have their place.